So it seems like a very obvious idea, you know, take take my money in a in a com in a country where there are low interest rates, invest it in Bulgaria or somewhere like that where there are high interest rates. Why has nobody done it before? I think people have been doing it um, for, for years. Um, so um, when uh, when we spoke to banks, Bulgarian or uh, if you name it, they told us um, there's German people flying over. They bring their passport. They open right. bank accounts locally. Um, we even thought sometimes they don't understand the language. Um, so this has been a, a phenomenon um, that is happening in the past. When no one did it um, uh, on a professional level, um, I think it is not too easy um, because of the regulatory environment. So. Um, in, in reality, it should all be harmonized EU-wide, um, but then when you try to do it, you find out um, it actually is not. And um, there's many barriers you need to overcome, you need to, um, to build trust uh, from, uh, from banks. So the idea to execute on is not as easy as it might seem uh, in the first place. That's maybe why no one has done it yet. Also, there's a second reason, um, by the way. Um, if you look at German interest rate levels right now, they're maybe at 1% for one-year deposit. Um, in other European countries, you can get maybe 2.5%, so spread of 100 basis points. Spread was a bit higher in, in previous years, but if you look back, for example, to um, 2007, you could get 4.5% in Germany and 6.5% in other countries. At that level, um, customers are a bit reluctant to, to move over, so I think it's also a child of the, the low interest rate environment um, uh, right now.